The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we analyze and deconstruct the latest news pertaining to your health, fitness, and diet, and where we break down what we hear and see and kind of see if it makes sense to us. Right, Paige? It's the thing to do. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater. It's kind of cloudy and... Uh, but cooler. But cooler, like 81 degrees. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. and we like that for sure. Uh, please uh, give us a call at 877-927-6648 if you'd like to participate. And please also check out my Health Signals newsletter. In fact, I have a new Health Signals coming Hot out right there. Press, Hot off the press, great stuff. press, where is it? There it is, right there. And one of the uh, things that highlights this is the nice marijuana plants sitting there, but a great reason to legalize pot and it really talks about uh, what's happening a lot in of these people places. Are, yeah, a lot of people are dying from uh, overdoses on pain, pain pills. Yeah. And they're seeing that if people were using marijuana, that might not be the case. Well, I've talked to several people about this, and the interesting thing is the edibles are really good at getting your body to uh, respond differently to the pain. So uh, some of those things are switched off, and uh, without the narcotic effect, in other words, you're not going to get hooked on marijuana. Psychologically, perhaps, there's some, some things to that, but uh, I think this is uh, one of the biggest booms to uh, hit the medical industry. Marijuana is, seems to be a cure-all for many, many things, and of course, the more you do research, the more you find out that uh, it's been used for thousands and thousands of years. And if you look at the list of the ailments that are listed on there, it's just, just about everything, including old age. You know, it, it just makes everything easier. Of course, we have to find out now how we're going to dispense this, and it seems like Colorado and California and those states that are, have the medical marijuana and even have the recreational are making some really good headways in opening people's eyes that this is actually a drug, uh, and when used properly, it can really show many benefits to a lot of the different population. So. Well, there's quite a bit of plant, spirit plant medicines that, that are helping with addictions. There are people that are going to Costa Rica and, yeah. and, and actually using some plant medicines yeah. to help uh, yeah, and detox. Another, from another misnomer is that, uh, you know, we call it a weed. It's not really a weed. It's actually an herb. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's used for so many things. So I think you're right. I think yeah. it is uh, opening the eyes of people. Uh, another article to go along with a close look at connection between evolution, plants, diet, and health. And this is a nice and de depth article. And notice that fern. I really what there was a key point that you had there um, that really explained that you know plants are not defenseless and that they have a lot of these toxins, sometimes carcinogens even actually, yes. to protect themselves from being Eat. you know, eaten by animals and people alone. Yeah, so and animals specifically, and that's why uh, herding animals and putting them in a confined space is bad for them because now they're forced to eat whatever you're giving them or whatever is there. Uh, if they get to roam around, some of the dangerous plants that they may get sick from, they won't go near because they know. And of course, the animal that came before them knew, and it's kind of in their d DNA. But that changes over time. So if you corral these animals and start making them more domestic, they, they do change, and they're more susceptible to problems like we are, mm -hmm. because we're dis domesticated too, as, as I often say. Next article uh, in there goes along kind of with uh, you know, specific carbohydrates, and if you have the digestive issues, what to do uh, with them. And, yeah, that's uh, kind of created a little movement, just like the paleo primal or whatever. It's called the specific carbohydrate diet. And yeah. uh, this particular researcher has found that there's still some additional foods that many of us might think are okay that sure. could Nightshades still... Nightshades being one of them, exactly. uh, potatoes being a uh, mm -hmm. problem for people, dairy being a problem for some people. You know, so you ha really have to find out what and what isn't uh, a food mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. It is an uh, individual thing. Yeah. Uh, thing on drugs and anti-aging. 
Uh, coming to your supermarket soon. <laughs> and Chocolate I think covered so, grass helpers. Uh, insects are delicious. I've eaten several different types of insects. I'm not there yet, Nico. Uh, I, I've eaten a chocolate covered uh, grasshopper before, and it was pretty good. But the grasshopper itself was very nutty tasting. See, um, when I read this article, it really started to cause me to think, well, maybe this would be the solution to to a lot I of the world's problems. I think so. And uh, remember that uh, the crustaceans we eat now, uh, like lobster tails and like shrimp and, uh, you know, just about everything that, that we eat uh, is a crustacean of some kind, which is actually an insect. So it's just mm -hmm. an underwater insect. That's interesting to say that. And, and, you know, a lot of people say to me, oh, I want to buy my eggs. I make sure I buy those cage-free vegetarian, vegetarian fed. And I'm eggs, saying, yeah. folks, <laughs> chickens are not vegetarians. Right. They eat bugs. They eat insects. Yeah. So maybe there's some clues there that things yeah, we should be Yeah, the ancestor doing. of the chicken really probably was a dinosaur of some kind. Uh -huh. So uh, uh -huh. that was a raptor, perhaps. Uh, foods that naturally purge toxins from your body. And Great that, list of things. I, oh, you know, does it look like my terrific tonic, the turmeric and the, it really and does. the cherry? There? Yeah. 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 And learning through play, which uh, we, we often discussed. We talked about that last that. week. Yeah. I, I think that was a great article. And then, of course, uh, school bans children from doing cartwheels and headstands without adult supervision. We've got some great recipes in here, too. Uh, and it, this was interesting, too. In the spotlight, milk of magnesia has a natural deodorant. This came from a friend of mine, Joey. Uh, and uh, he mentioned to me that he was using the uh, crystal, what I use. Uh -huh. And I guess it wasn't working for him as well or whatever. Anyway, he, he tried this. He found it, and he sent it to me. And I don't think anything. And I've tried a lot of different things. That's magnesium. Things. I know, milk of yeah. magnesia. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Which a lot of people are using magnesium oil just because we should right. be using. That's one of my favorite ways yeah. to get this. Mineral. One of the most natural ways. Yeah, because yeah. you can put it on your feet and stuff. And you know, right. a lot of women like to put oil and stuff on their feet. Yeah. So I said, do your magnesium. And then right before you go to bed, do some, some oil, stick your socks on, and voila. Yeah. And, we, of course, we have some primal recipes, some mm -hmm. great, great recipes. And uh, something on exercise. Uh, what is the area of the brain that's really responsible for the motivation of exercise? And then just common exercise mistakes. Uh, if you're not warming up, if you're not stretching, if you're not doing certain things, you're probably doing something wrong. So you might as well investigate and see how to do things proper. Uh, that was really interesting where you shared the information. So you have to get the newsletter to find out. But really, when it's important to refeed your muscles, you know, that yeah. a lot of people People don't understand that. They're loading and they're wondering why they're not losing weight yeah. and they're loading up on things, but that article really kind of... Yeah, and it's always safety first, right. I think, mm -hmm. too, as uh, people go overboard and too much weight, doing too much. Over, overdoing is one of the worst mistakes you can make. Mm -hmm. And, of course, more information about Primal Edge. Uh, folks, uh, we're not quite there yet. We got the product in. Uh, we shot a little... Uh, uh, voiceover last week. We got that done. They're working on the video and we're working on the page so you can actually buy this thing. Yeah, so, so it's here. It's really where yeah. as soon as uh, TFNN can get the order page up, we'll be able to yeah, send you there. Do. There's an interesting uh, video here on our last page called about Monsanto and how they're actually, you know, screwing everybody because any seed that drops off their trucks and goes into other people's yards and stuff, you can, if you're selling this stuff, then you're selling their brand and that's against the law. And they're actually, well, you got to go ch check it out because I think it's important to do it. That's a video that everyone should watch. And again, that's yep. one of the powers of our newsletter is that those clickable links are there so you don't have to stumble around and go try and figure out where to find things. That's exactly right. Good stuff. Uh, I found this article, uh, Why Eating Organic Won't uh, Get You Healthy. And it was yes. an interesting article. Sarah Pope, she's right here. She's the chapter leader. Right. For Weston A. Price. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what she's really saying is that, you know, nutrition is really important, especially on the, our type of diet where we're eating a little bit of protein, we're eating a lot of healthy fat, and few carbohydrates. And it really goes to show you that the carbohydrates, like those plants in my newsletter, they have a lot of defenses to keep them from being eaten. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of buffaloed into thinking that, oh, if you're eating organic, this is your lifesaver and things will improve. Well, they will improve, but that's not the diet. The diet is getting a good source of protein and good healthy fat. Fat-soluble vitamins. That's the diet. The other stuff is kind of like the ice cream on a cake. 
Mm -hmm. is what I'm saying, or the whipped cream on the exactly. cake. It's some of the greens to help flavor the proteins. Uh, and if you're looking at ancient cu cultures, which in this article, she really talks about uh, a lot of the cultures that are going back to their natural diet and exploring what our ancestors did to go back to being healthy, because the people she's talking about are the so Samoans, the South Sea Island people. Uh, they're talking about indigenous people to certain continents that uh, have switched to the American or western style diet and of course you've got a sick human being all of a sudden not just one person everybody who switches it gets sick so in order for them to get back to health they have to go to their original diet something that's maybe harder for me and you because we're of the european right and they've been doing it wrong for many years mm -hmm. so i think for a south sea islander or a native american much easier to go back a couple of hundred years and find out what your ancestors have been eating so how would you address the fact that we talk a lot about, you know, making tire brew yes. with MCT oil, which is a derivative of coconut, obviously not available to our ancestors exactly, in Northern Exactly, but it's, it's such a good source of fat that isn't deposited in your fat cells. It's mm -hmm. a fat that will go into your digestive system, or not even, it's just kind of absorbed by your body and then turns it into energy. Yeah. Uh, if we were in America, we'd be going after high fat uh, animals like the buffalo had that big hump of fat and we we'd use that fat uh, we'd be trying to uh, get animals instead of like a rabbit uh, which is so lean doesn't have really good fat we'd be after that fatter turkey or uh, maybe the wild horses that were here uh, before the white man came uh, mm -hmm. and died off who knows we'd be eating animals with their prized fat and we'd be eating uh, you know probably fishing and the animals with their prized fat and the animals are eating the foods they were designed to eat. Yeah, because if you look at uh, buffalo fat, it kind of has that reddish pink mm -hmm. sheen to it. If you're looking at uh, fat from the salmon, it's got that reddish sheen to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what gives it the color. And, uh, well, they'll the tell you freeze. that that's actually the natural astaxanthin. That's which is exactly, a, and the, the higher that is, mm -hmm. the more anti-inflammatories you have. In a, exactly. that, and uh, a lot of times I'll be in jujitsu, I'll be wiping my brow, and I can see some of that in there. Oh. So it shows me I was taking too much, and I could down my dosage a little bit. In fact, since I've uh, been taking the Primal Edge, I've noticed you know, that I can take less of the other things I've been taking, too, like the uh, omega-3s and uh, like uh, probiotics. Well, we've included a lot of uh, things in that formula. It's actually just amazing how we're being able to offer it to you all because just alone uh, there are many people that are selling, uh, you know, six ingredients for about half the price, you know, yeah. about half the price that we're asking for the whole thing. We have hundreds of ingredients here yeah. that are all very pure and good sources. And the good thing is they all work together with everything else. And I've been doing more of what you said, taking it about 45 minutes to an hour before I eat. Mm -hmm. And I can really notice the change. It just feels cleaner because I think the detox is taking place before. And then that, what you said? Exactly. Well, I was, when I before, I was taking like 15 minutes before. So now I'm taking 45 minutes to an hour before. It tastes before. good, doesn't it? Yeah, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. We've gotten a uh, thumbs up from family members, kids yeah, cool. and old alike. 877-927-6648 is our number. We'll be back in a few minutes, folks. Okay, so a little more. heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month-long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Paige Clark, and I'm with Nico DeHaan, and we're talking health. Uh, article came out. Scientists have made an important breakthrough in the fight against debilitating autoimmune disease, such as multiple sclerosis, etc., by revealing how to stop cell attack of healthy body tissue. Rather than the body's immune system destroying its own tissue by mistake, researchers have discovered how cells convert from being aggressive to actually protecting against disease. Uh, some other points I want to share in there, mm -hmm. but remember how I've told you uh, in my training with Dr. Marshall, we know that we in the United States are kind of alone in the belief in autoimmune diseases. Now yeah. I know a lot of people get upset with me when I say that, and they're like, what are you talking about? This is a real disease. What we're saying is, the belief that there's something innately wrong with our God-given immune system is not exactly correct. Right. There's always some type of stealth Unlying. invader right. that's there, but they try and create it as if it's a genetic thing. Even this article still stays in that vein and mm -hmm. that thought pattern. But it's interesting how they talk about switching things on and off. Mm-hmm. And it actually sounded kind of interesting to me because it sounds to me like what they're talking about is the basics of homeopathy, which was our original medicine in this country. Right. The uh, Hahnemann's premise that like cures like, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I think what we need to realize is sometimes these heavily uh, technical scientific releases that we're hearing are actually just repackaging stuff that we've already known. 
Yeah, and uh, of course, the and uh, you and uh, the uh, uh, the formulas that they're coming up with, saying the future of medicine is going to be uh, allowing us to switch things on and off at the, the DNA level, at the mitochondrial level, mm -hmm. and that's what uh, the future of a medicine uh, uh, has been. So uh, this goes right along with that, but it's actually, well, like you said, taking us back to where we started from, because this is what our ancient people always did. They wanted to boost the immune system to react against, you know, invaders, toxins, and things like that. The day, today the problem is, is that there's so many different types of toxins, from the food packaging to what's in the food to what's being sprayed on our streets and our sidewalks to the pollution in the air. So we're getting so many attacks, and then we start uh, bringing in products like the Industrial Age did with the kind of non-food items, uh, grains and, you know, the beans that people used to use in the specific ways that now all of a sudden they're using them not how our ancestors did them so they don't have the value anymore so what's happening is our body's being attacked and now at the DNA level it's starting to change coming up with this so-called disease autoimmune disease mm -hmm. it's really we're being attacked from uh, like Al-Qaeda and ISIS and ISIL and all these different uh, factions are out there attacking us you're talking of. about macrocosm and the microcosm yeah, exactly so it's exactly. the same thing yeah mm -hmm. Well, the, you know, the DNA, as I said, it's always needs information. Right. And if the information is distorted, then the, a distorted version of the DNA, DNA can come along, and that's what we're seeing. Yeah, so I was uh, looking at this other uh, thing. I don't know if I can bring it up here. But this is kind of tied into it when, uh, yeah, quantum theory. And this is at the quantum theory level that consciousness, they think, moves from one universe to another universe at death. Uh, of course, our ancient ancestors always went to the happy hunting ground or to heaven or to all these different things. And, of course, that, uh, from a scientific point of view, would mean another universe, perhaps. You know, But uh, they're also saying that the theories of relativity insist this has to happen. I totally believe it. Yeah. So all the mystical things that our ancestors were talking about in their own way really have substantiated now in science, not only in our health, but in our consciousness and our spirit, the spiritual aspect of it. And really what they're saying is that the body it's just doesn't the come first. What yeah. first is the consciousness, and then the body is created, and our surroundings are created by the consciousness, uh, our souls or our spirit, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool stuff, I think. It's yeah. exactly And it relates I'm... exactly to what we talk about. Right. And this is a real big illusion, and that's why be careful what you're thinking because your cells are listening because yeah. you're creating every minute. Yeah. And what we are experiencing in this reality is... It's, it's an illusion. It's really not well, so the real us. Perhaps not. And the interesting thing, I think, is if you think about it from the moment you're born, you're being hit by propaganda from your parents, from your society, from everybody else that you see, and it gets larger and larger and larger mm -hmm. instead of uh, creating this wonderful world It's kind of mucks us up in a sense, because we're not allowed to non-conform. We're allowed only, oh no, you can't do this, you have to do it this way. And I think, you know, when we talk about education and stuff like that, well, we're running out of time, so give us a call, folks, 877-927-6648. We'll continue. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades 
open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. This is Nico and Paige on Living a Primal Lifestyle. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please take time to look at my Health Signals newsletter and pick up a copy. It's only $10 a month. You get two issues uh, every month. Uh, for that price, and uh, the information just keeps going. Now, we've been talking about this book that I was reading, uh, Biocentrism, How Life and Consciousness Are Keys to Understanding the Nature of the Universe, and this was written by the uh, a scientist who's really the third most important scientist uh, rated by the New York Times. His name is Dr. Robert Lanza, and Lanza is an expert in regenerative medicine and scientific director of Advanced Cell Technology Company. And uh, uh, he was less known for uh, he was being known for his uh, extensive research which dealt with stem cells and he was also famous for several su successful experiments on close cloning endangered uh, animal species mm -hmm. but not that long ago he got involved with physics quantum right. physics and astrophysics there we go yeah. The stars are involved. Yeah. And this explosive mixture kind of gave rise to the new theory of biocentrism, uh, kind of the subject of his book. And he's been preaching it ever since. And so this is important, guys, because we're really starting to 
have the veil removed. Biocentrism yeah. teaches that life and consciousness are fundamental to the universe, and it is consciousness that creates the material universe, not the other way around. Yeah. That's kind of like the saying, uh, you know, we're spiritual beings on a human experience, not humans trying to have a spiritual right. experience. And he kind of points out that the structure of the universe itself and that the laws, forces, and constraints of the universe appear to be fine-tuned for life, implying that intelligence exists prior to matter. He also claims that the science and time are not objects or things, but rather tools in our animal understanding. He says that we carry space and time around with us like turtles with shells meaning that when the shell comes off, space and time, we still exist. Yeah, that we've actually created this structure of space right. and time. And uh, the theory implies that death of consciousness simply does not exist. It only exists as a thought because people identify themselves with their body. Mm -hmm. uh, they believe that the body is going to perish sooner or later, thinking their consciousness will disappear too. And if the body generates consciousness, then consciousness dies when the body dies. And what we're no finding out is that that is not the case. Uh, but if the body receives consciousness in the same way that a cable box receives satellite signals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then, of course, consciousness does not end at the death of the physical vehicle. In fact, consciousness exists outside of constraints of time and space and is able to be anywhere in the human body or outside of it. In other words, it is non-local in the same sense that quantum objects are yeah. non-local. So if your understanding is that uh, you will go on afterwards, then your chances of going on are uh, a lot better percentage-wise, I think, for a person who thinks, well, I'm dying and that's the end. Well, so just the mere uh, conscious thought of that can change the perceptive of where you're going and what's going on. Absolutely. So. And think about the profitability of creating this fear that we all have. Yeah. How medicine has profited, how we've we've all you know, churches have profited. Schools. You know, be good. Yeah, exactly. Be good, be smart, do all these things because you need to accomplish something. Yeah. And in reality you will continue. You know, he he believes that there's multi universes and that they can exist simultaneously. Yeah. Um you know, in one universe, the body could be dead, and in another, it continues to exist, absorbing consciousness, which migrates into this universe. This means that a dead person, while traveling through the same tunnel, ends up not in hell or in heaven, but in a similar world he or she once inhabited, but this time alive, and so on, in infinity. So if you're more adventurous, you're liable to get maybe a... a uh, a more adventurous life next time if you're more docile. I don't know how it works. Of course, nobody does. Well, I think that's where no. the concept of karma comes up. And yeah. then there's some people yeah. that believe, I sent you an article, I'll be interested in uh, just, this, you know, just this morning. Uh. Some people believe that we can escape this repeat of the Russian doll afterlife effect. Mm -hmm by just reconnecting with the oneness of this consciousness. Well, I think that's, that's the first step, creating the oneness. That's what, what we all want, the peace, the quiet. Uh, and I think we're trying to do that with our food also, trying mm -hmm. to simplify things for us. Mm -hmm. But also we want to do it spiritually and in our physical surroundings by making your home a lot less stressful, mm -hmm. cutting off the TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and creating more of a mood where you can talk to each other, uh, play games with each other, uh, have sex, uh, whatever, you know, instead of watching that darn TV for hours on end, and especially listening to, you know, the news. And I, I want to make a point there, yeah. you know, I think that re that disconnecting so we can reconnect with the true self is really important. And I also think, though, that there's a difference between watching the TV in that kind of escape way right. and then using these as tools of to course. what I call, this is a, re is, this is a way yeah. to reconnect to universal consciousness, to look for answers and to help seek so yeah. you'll find. Yeah, I, I was reading an article uh, just this week about some of the uh, real brainchilds of our society, like Steve Jobs and uh, all these guys, uh, Michael Dell and uh, all these computer people who uh, are visionaries, but they never gave or encouraged their kids to use them. In fact, they put restrictions on them. Uh, yeah, use them on a very limited basis, but they don't watch their kids t ha have TV time. Mm -hmm. They don't, certainly don't let them play TV games right. or some of those, you know, uh, play station types of things. Well, maybe they know something that the rest of us don't know. Well, it is, I think, because it is distractive. Uh, it can, I mean, it's Do you certainly think they may know that there's programming <laughs> yeah. embedded in those That's possibly? That's what they're counting on because they're selling the stuff. 
I mean, I actually believe that some of that stuff has programming in it. Well, Maybe well, we have it's it in all our programming. internet too. Yeah. Yeah, even the commercial that we're making. No, I'm talking about programming that's subliminal. That's not. Yeah, but it's uh, you've got to realize even if it's not subliminal, just by the fact of somebody selling you something, there's something else going on there besides just you know the the object of us uh, having a product is for us to make some money. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody does. And just by the fact of us doing the script and things like that, I can see how, uh, you know, uh, powerful these things are. Yeah. And we have to, you know, and we have to be careful with those things, I think, and, and especially exposure to it. So yeah. I think the TV does that very, very well. We know that. So that's why it exists on a commercial level. Mm -hmm. not just as an educational tool. If it was used as an educational tool, that would be a whole different... Uh, you don't have the commercials about trying to sell things to you. But, mm -hmm. of course, that's the only way we can get these things to work. Mm -hmm. uh, however, there are other, other ways. The inter uh, Internet started by itself uh, not through that commerce so much more information, but they're trying to tr turn it into the commerce. You know, yeah. it's, it's costing us more and more to be connected. That's true. And it should be the other way around. It should should be a common area, just like a road is, where it's you you can take this road anywhere in the United States and not be subject to paying for that road. It should be everybody's paid for it through their normal taxes. And I really do, do believe in the commons, and I believe in the commons in food. I believe in the commons for for water and for clean air. This is the common that for consciousness. Yeah, I mean, before we had the government here, there was just wild, and we could pick and choose for what we wanted, uh -huh. and we could make those choices. If they were wrong, we'd probably die, and if they were right, we survive. Well, I'm here, yeah. so I'm surviving. So I want to make those choices. I don't want governments and companies and that to making those choices for me. I'm really firm on that, and I think it destroys more than it creates. And uh, when I look at what's happening now with uh, just the the war in ISIS, you know, now they're coming up with these phrases. We're going to follow these guys wherever they go. Well, that opens the door. Now, if we give a a thirty uh, nation uh, combat troop going after people that they think are destroying the, their freedoms. They can go anywhere because they're saying that now. They're prepping us for it. So I really, you know, I, re I really get scared when this because this is the reason my dad wanted to come to the Americas because that's what was going on in Europe. Right. We had the Nazis doing that, and then the Russians, and then the Americans. You know, everybody's pushing different directions. Not the direction I want to go. You know, I want to be just live peace and enjoy my life. And uh, one way I can do that is if I turn off those news, I don't get so distracted with that. So, and I really, you know, I was hoping Scotland would be, you know, coming into itself and having that nice, their own nation taking care of themselves. Fortunately, they didn't uh, vote that way. But yeah. I would love it if there were 50 states here and all the counties would be just little counties. And, and then we get more diversified as far as people getting their own traditions and things like that. I think it's much more interesting than all of us trying to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. All of us having your iPhones and everybody being on, you know, Facebook and everybody, you know, I don't think that's the way to connect because it's a false connection. Right. I mean, there you see everybody walking down the street with their phones, looking at their phones, not at their dog, not at their children, not conversing with a buddy. I mean, I... I catch myself too you know my wife and I go out to dinner on Friday nights and we'll sit there for a little while and chat a little while and pretty soon one of us will pull out our phone and then out. you sit there and, and look at each other how urgent is that phone the phone is a never urgent thing right I mean it's urgent but it's not important mm -hmm. that's what Stephen Covey used to say he mm -hmm. says how many things in your life are deeply important right. no mostly they're urgent yeah. hey do this hey do that and it's not important for the staff of life for creating a, a type of human being that grows and that's compassionate and be kind like my dad always said you know the first thing you have to do is be kind to people no matter what they're doing to you is if you're kind then you're a step ahead of them then you can kind of calm down and think about making the right decision i agree nico and you know when you're saying that i mean because you know i love my ipad goes everywhere cracks sure. and all yeah. but um uh you know some people will say oh i sent you an email well i'm in the business of connecting with people mm -hmm. And so I don't, many times during the day, have a chance to check my email. Mm -hmm. And I do that because I want you to feel like you are the most important person because you, quite frankly, are. Yeah. You're sitting in front of me. Yeah. And I have been on the other end of people who are sitting there 
emailing while they're talking to you, and I find that extremely um, disconnecting and, yeah. and, and not good. So when you say that, but hey, we all do it, and when I find myself in a situation yeah. where maybe someone is doing a quick check of their email and then they get respond, then they check on some other things, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of bring it back into the present and say, yeah. you know, what are we doing here? Well, the most valuable thing, and my dad taught me this a long time ago, he says, if you, when you give somebody your time, that's the most valuable thing you have. Yeah. It's not money, it's nothing, it's you, you sharing somebody with something on a one-to-one -one level and you taking the time to do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you think of that, a lot of these gadgets kind of take that away. That's true. And to take it away one little step at a time where pretty soon you're saying hi to your son and daughter on Facebook and think that you've really made a connection there exactly. when it's really just a superficial connection. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a shame because we're all caught up in that part of it. There's a great viral video on Facebook that talks about just that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I have lots of friends but don't know anyone. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. and and so I think really we can look at it as as a balanced thing, right? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a great way to share information, but being able to put it away when you know that it's time to connect in the right way, mm -hmm. and to really, you know, spend time with the people we love in a way that's not distracting. Because I really do think, um, you know, when someone's talking to you and you're connected to one yeah. of these to this box. I find it uh, painful. Well, it slows things down too. Just making uh, like a label for the primal edge, and but you know, Paige and I did all this stuff pretty much f from scratch together. Right. We came up with the, you know, the footage and everything, and how we're saying things because we want control of this product. We want it the way we want it, and uh, just uh, you know, I had this label guy that was in the other end of the country and mailing back pictures and little fonts and doing all this stuff, and where I could be one on one with somebody, and saying this is the way I the f I feel about this. It would have been done a lot quicker. It's just that's not our uh, deal these days. The deal is you do one thing and somebody in another state is doing another thing and the whole thing starts to come together. But, uh, and I think uh, technology will make that easier because we can kind of stand in the same room together and chat for 15 minutes about it. And that's better than emailing ideas across, you know. Even talking on the phone sometimes doesn't do it. So, uh, and, you know, so it is what it is, but uh, we're, we're coming along and... I think next week we will have it, actually. You'll be able to buy this product. But if you're in the local area and you want a product, uh, you can call Paige or you call me. and we'll, we'll Maybe give me some of our personal stash, stash until the station gets up. But I, I'm, I'm quite sure we're going to have something next week so yeah. that you guys can just go to the TFNN website, click on the Primal Edge link, order it, and have it shipped. Because we've yeah. really created a special price for people that go ahead and get it shipped, maybe go on yeah. auto ship so you have it yeah. and you don't miss it. And, and folks... We're telling you, if we can ensure that we're getting some of the, the crucial things to maintaining human health, uh, we really feel like we hit this one right on the head. Oh, no doubt about and, it. And, you know, we're going to talk about a couple of other things that we need to incorporate, and we're going to encourage you to do that, and we're going to find ways to help you do that. Because to me, if you've got the primal edge, which is basically saying, I'm going to eat healthy food, but we know we don't have what we need in the food. So this is kind of like bring it back in as if the food had it in there it from ancient times. It will for you. Yep. The other thing is, is some additional parent essential oils I think is important to help rebuild and it's primarily for a spiritual reason of increasing the vibration in that inner part of the migraine. Bionic. And the other part is charged water. And I'm going to help you do that. That's yeah. what I've been passionate about and studying lately. If you start reading this label, too, and uh, most labels of good vitamins, you find out that they're really getting this stuff from the herbs and the plants and the soil. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that is the accent to what we always say, great food is the protein source, the animal that uh, we share our meal with. Kind yeah. of. Okay. Folks, we're going to get one more segment, so uh, give us a call if you can, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. 
By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. This is Nico and Paige on Living a Primal Lifestyle. And Paige, we've been talking about uh, really uh, health and spiritual health and everything like that. It's, I noticed this article about osteoporosis uh, and uh, the, really the myth behind having too much calcium. Uh, this article really states that there's a, a lot of t people are taking like mega doses. What is that? Well, What's that all about? Let's take a look at it. Okay. As always, as I kind of hinted at the other article, there's money to be made when we medicalize a problem, yeah. right? And then what this really is at the heart of this, and this comes from GreenMedInfo.com, one of our uh, trusted sources that uh, world's largest database of evidence-based natural medicine, say or G. Um, but I do want to qualify a couple of my thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, what we found is that where all these women are rushing in line to go to their nearest Walmart to buy their uh, 360 count calcium carbonate capsules, which is in a rock form mm -hmm. that is undigestible and not usable by the body, I believe, as we've discussed, can cause uh, quite a bit more havoc than it is needed because it has not got the synergist. What are the synergists? Those are... Well, 
fulvic, fulvic and, and humic. humic acids. Okay, yeah. so fulvic and humic acids are basically nutritional alchemy that turns nutrition into a usable form. It's done by the plant. So it's done in the soil. This one actually the moves into the cell and the, one moves out of the cell. Is that correct? It's, it's, it's done so that plants can get nutrition from rocks. What do plants do? They take nutrition from the rocks and the soil, they break it down in usable form, and they use it for their own nutrition. And then we eat the animals that eat those plants, and yeah. that's the way it works. Yeah. So, um, but I do want women, I have so many women who, again, we talked kind of about in the spiritual world, Maybe we need not to be so fearful. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to be more trusting that, and work. Maybe if we put as much time on working on the inside of us, going within, mm -hmm. as we did on all this nutritional stuff, and I think that's kind of a lot of where we're going. Yeah. I think our primal man didn't have all the distractions, so we had more time to meditate, yeah. and be in silent prayer. But I want you to realize with this osteopenia, osteoporosis, that takes more than calcium to make good bone. It's a beautiful complex, and we did a great job in Primal Edge uh, to introduce uh, chelated forms of calcium magnesium. We put quite a dose in there because we know that we're trying to find something that's a one-shot wonder. Yeah. Now, in reality, working with you, there may be times that I want to introduce other things or have you take a little bit more to start with. But in reality, we are using the power of fulvic and humic to perform this natural alchemy of making the minerals and nutrients into a cell-ready, ionic, usable form with a charge that passes the membrane. And at the same time, can be packaged and the waste products can be removed. Yeah, so f fumic is the one that actually removes, I think, well, most Well, fulvic happens to be a very powerful chelator, but they're really both important. Yeah, they're, they're, they work in synergy. Actually, it is fulvic that is a part of the master molecule of humic, but actually fulvic has um, a unique power of being able to kind of be an escorter in the cell. Yeah, and it actually makes what you're bringing into the cell uh, work better. So uh, if you're saying taking a thousand units of vitamin C, you're actually getting the full thousand units if you got the fulvic humic going in there with it, because that mm -hmm. actually makes it more powerful when otherwise you might be getting 10% of it. So kind of in summary of this article, what I wanted to just summarize is that the key point is that with all diseases, we get at ease by having things that we can use. And um, bone health uh, and building not just, uh, you know, having uh, bone mineral density is not the same thing as having strong bones. We want strong bones, not necessarily dense bones. Think about a tree in a storm. Yeah, you it want has to tensile to, strength. Right. It sure. can bend. We want our bones to be, have tensile strength. So we want to help make sure you get the kind of stuff that helps you build strong bones. Thanks to me, Paige. Uh -huh. Thanks a lot for sticking around, folks. And uh, next week you'll be able to pick up the... Uh, if I have to deliver to your house myself, <laughs> and put myself on the line here, Stay that tuned. we will have it. Yeah. Join us on Living a Primal Lifestyle and have a Primal Edge coming to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.